this is the Canon 90D. Twenty four frames per second is now back with the firmware update. Canon 90D offers one hundred and twenty frames per second slow motion in full high definition. That even the Canon EOS R can't do. With the new Digic 8 processor, Canon 90D comes with eye detection autofocus. most powerful APS-C camera that Canon ever offered. That's the Canon EOS 90D with 10 frames per second fast continuous shooting when you're taking pictures. But I'm interested more in the video aspect of this. So before we get into this, I hope the video at the beginning of this, you know, the little teaser, I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. And it almost took two days for me to shoot, edit and reshoot and edit and uh, edit again. Anyway, so today's video is to talk about the Canon 90D. This is the latest APS-C camera that Canon has uh, come up with in 2019. Just wanted to talk about my experience. This is not a technical review comparison or anything, but I do have the EOS R and I love this camera. And I was thinking to get rid of EOS R if I can do everything with the 90D that EOS R can do and even more because this one has a full high definition 120 frames uh, per second when shooting video that means you can slow it down 20% to that very super slow motion shot in full high definition which the EOS R can only do in 720p that's that and either way I created all the scripts for this video and I was about to recommend to get this one instead of the EOS R because even in the holiday season, the EOS R was listed at almost 1800 and this was coming in at uh, just 1150 uh, for the body. I thought if I can compare the features in 90D against the EOS R, I can go ahead and recommend this camera because you know, you don't want to spend that additional uh, $650 or so. Pretty much go ahead and uh, buy the 90D. But things changed in the last two days because I was looking at uh, BNH. If you're not from US and if you're watching this from other countries, uh, BNH is a camera store in US in New York and uh, they have deals going on. And in last week, they posted a USR body with the adapter for $14.99. And Canon has an additional $200 offer so that brings down the cost of EOS R with the adapter for $12.99 in US. And at that price point, $12.99 versus $11.50. Uh, if you add additional $150 to this, you're gonna get a mirrorless, which is the future, and full frame. That's more important to me. So if that's the case, then uh, who does this 90D belong to? Well, I think this has still a place in the camera bag because even if you have a EOS R as your primary camera or your secondary camera, if you are looking for a Canon camera that can shoot 120 frames per second without cropping and in full high definition, then 90D can do that for you. But uh, look at the size of these two. Hey guys, so this is a quick uh, indoor and outdoor test to see 
how the Canon A90D, not ADD, 90D performs. And I'm using the Sigma 18 to 35 mm lens at uh, 18 millimeter f1.8. And this is how the indoor looks like. Uh, there's a nice background there. And if I walk to get my wallet, I have to drop a package. See that clock? We got it from Sedona, Arizona. It's a good place to go and visit if you are into red rock and hiking. So anyway, that video is coming, check that out. So let's go out. Now let's see how this entire setup is gonna look like. Uh, outside, it's a very cloudy day. I'm not adjusting the white balance, it's auto. Um, but I have Canon C-Log has a user-defined picture profile in here. This is where the EOS R is gonna shine because it's super light compared to what I have right now. So now at least you can see outside, um, this is at aperture f4. So this lens is uh, super fast at 1.8. All right, now let's go and uh, see you in the FedEx. All right, I drop up the package. Now it's time to continue with the rest of the testing. All right, now I don't wanna take chances, so I have uh, at f1.4 so that uh, this is not blown out out of proportion so we'll see um, just for the testing purpose just to see if uh, the c log is effective in uh, the ATD I'm gonna put it back to f1.8 and have this completely blown out and see if that uh, helps me to bring it back during the post all right so now i'm back with the eos r it's the same setting i'm recording at uh, 4k 20 23.97 and you have the backlight there uh, it's almost same as previous um, but i think it's half an hour later so the sun might have gone down a little bit further um, but this is how the indoor is the only difference is, so with the 90D, I was using an 18 millimeter. And right now, let me put it to maybe 18. Yeah. Right now with EOS R, it's uh, 4K. That means it has 1.7 crop factor. With the Canon 90D, because it's an APS-C, it has a 1.6 crop factor, even though the lens I'm, I was using at that time was 18 millimeter. So it's almost the same, but uh, this is f2.8 and the other one was f1.8, so maybe a slight difference. So either way, this is interior, so let me just uh, go outside. All right, right now I'm outside. It's windy and cold, uh, but the sun is directly behind me right there. So it might be super overexposed, but uh, we'll see how the dynamic range is for the EOS R with the sun right behind me, as you can see. Maybe if I stand like this, it might be better. You know, the golden hour. So anyway, this is the quick test and um, I can walk slightly. I don't wanna shake too much. Again, there is no digital stabilization on this camera as well. I have not enabled it. So this is how it looks like outside. So now let's go back to studio. All right, so at this price point, I'm gonna recommend the EOS R instead of the 90D but uh, this has a space in your camera bag if you're looking for that second B cam for that smooth buttery slow motion all right take care signing off and there'll be more comparison and detail review of the 90d coming onto this channel so if you are interested consider subscribing and give me a like and see you in the next one bye